In this video, I use an axe. I use a saw and I clean a fan. This laptop was found in a scrap bin. And in the last video, I said if it got 50 likes, I'll put a GPU on it. And it got a bit over. So we're going to try and put this Vega 64 in it, which is about the same as the GTX 1080. So because we're not going to be using a laptop screen, we're going to start by removing it. And to do that, we're going to be using this axe. So let's just place it on this chopping board. And then we literally just have to... Okay, me think pads just fell over. That's quite strong, to be fair. We have to at least get that off. Oh, I've, I've hit the wrong area. Oh, well, that's got the screen. How are you not... How are you still attached? The screen has just come off. The hinge still works. Look at that. How is that still on? You know what? This computer's quite strong. <laughs> come on. Are you not going to come off? Whack it from this side. It's still on. I don't know how, but it still is. Should we just bend it all the way back? That is a good hinge. We've sort of weakened that side, so let's move on to the other one. This is a strong hinge. I've got another idea. It's a bit loud. I don't think that's doing anything. How is this still on? It's literally... Oh, there we go. All right. We got one side off. I was... It looks like that there's a cable holding this on. There we go. There we go. Right. The lid is off. We can now put this off to one side. Now we're left with, well, the main part of the computer. All right. Now let's remove this chopping board. And now we can get to installing the GPU. There we go. Look at that. Oh. And that's out. Couldn't get that out of last video. The hinge is still intact. So literally all we need to do is slide this thing in. And then we just need to screw it down. Now let's just plug this into there. Uh, we, we might as well leave it standing up somewhere. Now we can get the power supply. I reckon we just leave it there. Now we can plug it into the graphics card. So it's connected to the base of this. And now we just need to plug it into the monitor. Alright, so is it going to post? We can try a less demanding graphics card. Now let's install the one we used last video. And if this doesn't fix it, well then we've probably broke the motherboard by, well, slamming the computer with an axe. Are you going to post? Oh, there we go. All right, so that graphics card's posted. All right, so since this graphics card doesn't want to post with this laptop for some reason, I've got this thing. It's a GTX 1660 Ti. It's slightly worse than that one, but we should be all right. The CPU probably won't be able to handle it anyway. But let's just put that in there. Now let's see if it'll turn on. There you go. I don't think this motherboard can support these graphics cards. Alright, I don't think that graphics card is going to post, so we're going to put this one in. This one's from that £20 computer that I got. It's a GTX 660, so it is quite old, but as long as it works, we should be alright. Post. Alright, we're posting. Alright, so we just need an, an older graphics card. Is this graphics card any good? We're about to find out. There we go, right, internet card is in, and we are connected. Now we just need to download the drivers for it. All right, so the drivers have just been installed. You can probably see there. So far, we're using about 3%, just on idle. So the first game we're going to be playing is a bit of Roblox. All right, so let's get some Car Crushers 2 off. I mean, this is quite a heavy-ish game, especially on an old computer like this one. I think we're going to get, like, 50 FPS. It is taking a while to load, though. To let's put the graphics on low, just so we can load a bit quicker. I'm assuming the CPU is going to be at 100%, and the graphics card is going to be at about 30. Oh, uh, yeah, it's about 30, to be fair. Oh, actually, it looks like we are bottlenecking at the RAM. All right, let's turn this computer off, and then let's put 8 gigabytes of RAM in, and we'll see if it runs better. Okay, the other RAM sticks in. You probably didn't see any of that. And let's see if it posts. I think we are loading a bit quicker than last time. Right, let's have a look at Task Manager. Let's see what's getting overused. I'm assuming it's the CPU, but... <laughs> the CPU is literally using 30% of the graphics card because it is a bit slow, but 30% is better than just the CPU itself. Okay, the map's not even loaded in. The FPS is up here, if you're wondering. Well, we're getting about 30 FPS, so... You know, let's put graphics on max. How is that running better? All right, you know what? Max graphics. It's playable. Play it window so we can have a look at it here. 
Oh, all right. Well, my car's just exploded. Oh, what is this? Eat slimes to grow huge. Let's play this. Probably get 60 FPS in this one. Yep, all right, 60 FPS. Yeah, CPU is a uh, 100%. I don't even think it's going to load this, to be fair. All right, you know what? It's been about three minutes. Let's just leave this game. I don't think it's going to run it. You know what? Let's be a delivery driver. Oh, actually, this game is lagging slightly. I think it's just because we're loading, though. B1 here. I forgot to play it. I haven't played this game in years. Yep, all right. He's got no face. Let's have a little look at Task Manager. Yeah, all right. CPU seems happy, so... Oh, B3. You know what? The best thing to do in this game is when someone's loading one of these, you either steal it or you just empty it in the middle of the road. This is what everyone used to do back in the day. There we go. These trees fall over. You know what? I'm going to put them all in my garage. I normally just dump them in the middle of the road, to be fair. Yeah, look at that. We can still do this. Oh, I didn't know you can knock over people's post boxes. Wait. Yeah, look at that. Oh, there's a tree in the way. So this thing can run work at a pizza place quite well, to be fair. So let's just leave this game. Oh, this is a game. I used to play this on the school iPad. Basically, you just fight people and knock their things off. So I've got like a rocket launcher. I am getting shot at. Oh no, I'm getting stabbed. It's not London. Oh, oh all right. Half me tower's gone. It's not New York. You know what? Good game. GPU's getting a little bit warm. Right, you know what? Let's replace the thermal paste on this thing. We'll have another retry. And it should also make it run a bit quicker. And now I think let's just undo every screw that we see. Now let's take the SSD off. And it should just lift up. There we go. Is there any more screws over this end? And there we go. Oh, the CPU's socketed. So realistically, we could swap it out for an i7, but we're not going to. Right, let's take this cooler off. Okay, it should now... Oh, all right. Ah, that is really crust... Oh, why is there so much? Let's just soak that in alcohol. Just so it breaks down the thermal paste and it should be easy to get off. You know what? That'll do. We'll shove some thermal paste on the top of that thing. Let's just apply that. Wipe as much of this old stuff off as we can. There we go, that'll do. Now we can slap the cooler on. And now we can just tighten it. Actually, before we put this back, look what's in the fan. Not sure how well you can see all that fluff in there. Probably clean that out. All right, yeah, we might need to rinse this thing under the tap. All right, now we can put this wet fan back together. We might as well let it dry naturally. Now we can just slot this back to where it was before. And we've posted. Thanks, Fraud Tycoon. Let's play this. So I think the internet is not that good. So should you strap a GPU onto an old laptop? Well, if you've got one laying around, then, you know, you might as well. But I wouldn't recommend using it as a daily computer because, well, I, I don't know. It's up to you, really. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll see you next week.